Imagine this. Someone's always watching you. Every move, every decision, every little thing you do. Sounds creepy, right? But hold on. What if I told you it's not some scary stalker or big brother keeping tabs on you? It's actually something way more amazing. There's a mind-blowing twist to this story, and it's all about spirituality. You see, there's someone out there who keeps hiring people to track you. And get this, they all come back saying the same thing. Once this happens, your whole world might just turn upside down. In a good way, of course. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone want to track me? I'm just a regular person going about my day. Well, that's where things get really interesting. This isn't about some random person being nosy. It's about something much bigger, much more powerful. We're talking about the big guy upstairs, the universe, the divine, whatever you want to call it. That's right. The one doing the hiring isn't a person at all. It's the universe itself. But here's the kicker. These aren't your typical trackers. They're not following you around with cameras or listening devices. Nope. These are spiritual trackers. Think of them as cosmic detectives sent to keep an eye on you and make sure you're doing okay. And the best part? They always come back with the same message a message so powerful, so life-changing, that once you hear it, you'll never see yourself the same way again. So, let's break this down a bit. When we say, he keeps hiring people to track you, we're not talking about some mysterious boss in a fancy office. We're talking about the big kahuna, the head honcho of the universe. Some folks call it God, others the universe and some just call it a higher power. Whatever name you give it, we're talking about that force that seems to make things happen in ways we can't always explain. Now, this divine detective agency isn't sending out guys in trench coats and sunglasses to follow you around. Nope. Their methods are way more subtle and way more powerful. These trackers could be anything from what some people call guardian angels to spirit guides, or even just positive energy that surrounds you. They're like cosmic bodyguards, but instead of protecting you from physical harm, they're looking out for your spirit, your soul. But here's the thing. This kind of watching isn't creepy or controlling. It's not about catching you doing something wrong or judging your every move. Nope. This is all about love, pure, unconditional love, the kind of love that wants to see you grow, learn, and become the best version of yourself. It's like having a super supportive friend who's always got your back, even when you can't see them. Think about it like this. Have you ever had a moment where you felt like someone was looking out for you? Maybe you narrowly avoided an accident, or you got an unexpected opportunity just when you needed it most. That's the kind of thing we're talking about here. It's not about micromanaging your life, but about gently guiding you towards your best path. And the coolest part? These spiritual trackers don't just watch from afar. They're actively involved in your life sending you little signs and nudges to help you along the way. It's like having a cosmic GPS that's always recalculating to make sure you reach your destination, even if you take a wrong turn now and then. Now let's dive a little deeper into who these watchers really are. Remember, we're not talking about actual people here. These are spiritual beings celestial forces that operate on a level we can't always see or understand. Some folks call them angels, others might say spirit guides, and some just think of them as positive energy that flows through the universe. Picture it like this. You're walking through life, 
and all around you are these invisible helpers. They're like cosmic cheerleaders, always rooting for you, always wanting the best for you. They don't judge, they don't criticize, they just love you unconditionally and want to see you succeed. These celestial watchers come in all shapes and sizes, at least in our imagination. Some people see them as glowing beings of light, others as wise old souls, and some just feel them as a warm, comforting presence. The truth is, it doesn't really matter how you picture them. What matters is the role they play in your life. Think of them as your personal spiritual support team. They're there when you're feeling down, giving you a little boost of energy, or sending a kind stranger your way with just the right words. They're there when you're facing a tough decision, whispering intuition into your ear to help guide you. And they're definitely there in those moments of joy and triumph, amplifying your happiness and helping you recognize the magic in your life. But here's the really cool part. These watchers aren't just passive observers. They're actively working to help you grow and evolve. They're like spiritual personal trainers, always pushing you to be a little bit better, to reach a little bit higher. They know your potential, even when you don't see it yourself. And they're constantly working behind the scenes to help you unlock it. Now you might be wondering, if these watchers are so great, why don't they just solve all my problems for me? Well, that's not really how it works. You see, these celestial helpers aren't here to live your life for you or to make everything perfect. They're here to guide you, to support you, and to help you learn and grow. Because let's face it, if everything was always easy, we'd never learn anything, right? Instead, Think of these watchers as your cosmic co-pilots. They're not flying the plane for you, but they're there to help you navigate, to warn you about turbulence ahead, and to celebrate with you when you reach your destination. They're there to remind you of your own strength when you feel weak, to shine a light on your path when things seem dark, and to give you a gentle nudge when you need it most. And here's something really amazing to think about. These watchers see the real you. Not the you that you show to the world. Not the you that you sometimes doubt or criticize. But the true, authentic, amazing you that exists at your very core. They see your potential, your light, your unique gifts. And that's what they're always trying to nurture and bring out. So the next time you feel alone or unsure, remember this. You've got an entire team of celestial watchers on your side. They're cheering you on, guiding you forward, and constantly reminding the universe of just how special you truly are. They see your light, even when you can't see it yourself, and they're always working to help that light shine brighter. Now, you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but how do I know it's real? How can I be sure these watchers are really there? Well, that's where faith comes in. Not necessarily religious faith, but faith in something bigger than ourselves. Faith in the idea that we're all connected to something greater. And the beautiful thing is, the more you open yourself up to this idea, the more you might start to notice little signs and synchronicities in your life. Maybe you'll start to notice more coincidences that seem just a little too perfect to be random. Or perhaps you'll find yourself feeling inexplicably comforted in moments of stress. You might even start to trust your gut instincts more, realizing that there's a wisdom within you that seems to come from somewhere beyond your conscious mind. The key is to stay open, to pay attention, and to trust that there's more to this world than what we can see with our physical eyes. 
these celestial watchers are always there, always working on your behalf. And the more you acknowledge their presence, the more you might find yourself feeling supported, guided, and loved in ways you never imagined possible. Now let's talk about why these celestial watchers are keeping an eye on us. It's not because they're bored or have nothing better to do. No, there's a much bigger reason behind it all. You see, these divine detectives aren't just watching us for the fun of it. They're on a mission, and that mission is all about you. Think of it like this. You're on a big adventure called life. It's full of twists and turns, ups and downs, and sometimes it can feel like you're lost in a maze. That's where these watchers come in. They're like your personal GPS, always trying to guide you towards the best path. But here's the thing. They're not just interested in getting you from point A to point B. They're interested in your growth, your learning, and your happiness. These watchers are keeping an eye on you because they want to help you become the best version of yourself. They know that you have amazing potential inside you even if you can't always see it yourself. It's like they have a blueprint of the incredible person you can become and they're always trying to help you move towards that vision. But it's not just about personal growth. These watchers are also here to help you fulfill your purpose in life. Now don't worry if you're not sure what your purpose is. A lot of us feel that way. But these celestial guides? They know. They can see the bigger picture, and they understand how your unique gifts and talents can make a difference in the world. So when they're watching you, they're looking for opportunities to guide you towards experiences that will help you grow, learn important life lessons, and move closer to fulfilling your purpose. They're like cosmic teachers always trying to set up the perfect learning experiences for you. Now here's where things get really interesting. Remember how I said at the beginning that all these watchers come back saying the same thing? Well, it's time to reveal what that message is. And trust me, it's going to blow your mind. The message that all these celestial watchers bring back is this. You are incredible. You are powerful beyond measure. You have a light inside you that's brighter than you could ever imagine. I know, I know. It might sound a bit cheesy or over the top. But hear me out. This isn't just some feel-good mumbo-jumbo. This is the honest-to-goodness truth that these divine watchers see when they look at you. You see, these watchers aren't fooled by the mask you wear or the doubts you have about yourself. They don't see the mistakes you've made or the times you've fallen short. What they see is your true essence the real you that exists beneath all the layers of fear, doubt, and social conditioning. And what they see is breathtaking. They see a being of pure potential, capable of amazing things. They see your unique gifts, your special talents, the things that make you, well, you. And they see how these qualities can make a real difference in the world. But here's the kicker. They also see something else. They see that all too often, we don't recognize our own light. We get caught up in our daily struggles, our fears, our insecurities. We compare ourselves to others and come up short. We focus on our flaws instead of our strengths. And that's why they keep sending back this message. They want you, yes you, to understand just how special you really are. They want you to see yourself the way they see you. Because when you do, when you really internalize this truth, it can change everything. Now I bet you're wondering, how can I tell if these watchers are really looking out for me? 
Well, the good news is that once you start paying attention, you might notice signs of their presence all around you. One of the most common signs is what people often call coincidences or synchronicities. You know those moments when everything seems to line up just right? Like when you're thinking about an old friend and they suddenly call you out of the blue. Or when you're worried about something and you randomly come across the perfect solution. These aren't just random events. They're often signs that your celestial watchers are at work, gently guiding you along your path. Another big sign is that gut feeling you get sometimes. You know, that inner voice that tells you to take a certain job or to avoid a particular situation. That's often your intuition speaking. And many people believe that intuition is one of the main ways our spiritual guides communicate with us. You might also notice repeated patterns or symbols in your life. Maybe you keep seeing the same number everywhere you look or a certain animal keeps crossing your path. These can be signs that your watchers are trying to get your attention, to deliver a message or guide you in a certain direction. Sometimes the signs can be even more direct. Have you ever had a moment where you felt a sudden wave of comfort or reassurance, especially in a tough situation? Or maybe you've experienced a dream that felt incredibly vivid and meaningful. These can be ways that your celestial watchers are reaching out to you, offering guidance and support. But here's the thing. These signs aren't always big and dramatic. In fact, they're often quite subtle. It might be a book that falls off the shelf just when you need that particular information or a conversation overheard in a coffee shop that gives you the answer you've been seeking. The key is to stay open and aware, to pay attention to those little nudges and coincidences in your daily life. And remember, these watchers are all about love and support, so their signs will never be scary or threatening. They're not here to freak you out or make you feel uncomfortable. Their goal is always to guide you, comfort you, and help you grow. Now I want you to think about your own life for a moment. Have you ever experienced something that felt like more than just coincidence? Maybe a time when help arrived just when you needed it most, or when you felt an unexplainable sense of being looked after. Those could very well have been signs of your celestial watchers at work. And here's a little secret. The more you acknowledge these signs, the more you might start to notice them. It's like tuning into a radio frequency. At first, you might only catch bits and pieces. But as you pay more attention, the signal gets clearer and stronger. So I encourage you to keep your eyes open to stay aware of those little moments of magic in your everyday life. Because each one of those moments could be a message from your watchers, a reminder that you're loved, supported, and never alone on this journey called life. Now that we've talked about how to spot the signs of your celestial watchers, let's dive into how you can respond to this divine attention. Because here's the thing, these watchers aren't just putting on a show for you. They're inviting you to engage, to participate in this cosmic dance of guidance and growth. So, how can you respond? Well, the good news is that it doesn't require any special skills or knowledge. You don't need to be a spiritual guru or a meditation master. All you need is an open heart and a willingness to engage. One of the simplest and most powerful ways to respond is through gratitude. When you notice a sign or experience a moment of synchronicity, take a moment to say thank you. It doesn't have to be out loud, though it can be if you want. Just a simple heartfelt acknowledgement can go a long way. This gratitude not only shows your watchers that you're paying attention, 
but it also opens you up to receive more guidance. Another great way to respond is through mindfulness. This doesn't mean you have to sit in lotus position for hours, though if that's your thing, go for it. Mindfulness can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths and really paying attention to the present moment. When you're mindful, you're more likely to notice the subtle signs and nudges from your watchers. You can also respond through action. When you receive guidance or inspiration, act on it. Your watchers are trying to guide you towards your best path, but they can't walk the path for you. That's your job. So when you feel that nudge to try something new, to reach out to someone, or to make a change in your life, go for it. Taking action shows your watchers that you're ready and willing to grow. Remember, responding to your watchers isn't about being perfect. It's about being open, being willing, and being engaged in your own growth and journey. It's about trusting that there's something bigger at work in your life and being willing to dance with that energy. Now, let's talk about the big shift that can happen when you start to really understand and embrace this idea of celestial watchers. Because let me tell you, it can change everything. When you truly internalize the idea that you're being divinely guided and supported, it can transform your whole outlook on life. Suddenly, you're not alone in this big, sometimes scary world. You've got a team of cosmic cheerleaders rooting for you, guiding you, and helping you along the way. This understanding can give you a newfound sense of confidence. Not the kind of confidence that comes from thinking you're better than others, but the deep, unshakable confidence that comes from knowing you're exactly where you need to be, doing exactly what you need to do. It's the confidence of knowing that even when things get tough, you've got unseen support to help you through. It can also help you trust your journey more. You know those times when life throws you a curveball and everything seems to go off track? Well, when you understand that you're being divinely guided, you can start to see those curveballs as redirections rather than setbacks. You can trust that even if you can't see the reason right now, there's a bigger plan at work. This shift in perspective can also help you be more present and appreciative of your life. When you start to see the magic in the everyday moments, when you start to recognize the signs and synchronicities, life becomes so much richer. You start to see the beauty and meaning in even the small things. But perhaps the biggest shift is in how you see yourself. Remember that message that all the watchers bring back? The one about how incredible and powerful you are? Well, when you start to really believe that, it changes everything. You start to see your own potential, your own light. You start to understand that you're here for a reason that you have something unique and valuable to offer the world. And here's the really cool part. As you start to see yourself this way, the world starts to reflect that back to you. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy in the best possible way. As you step into your power and your light, you'll find that more opportunities open up, more support shows up, and more magic happens. In your life. Now I want to share a little personal story with you. A few years ago I was going through a really tough time. I had lost my job, my relationship had ended, and I was feeling pretty lost and alone. It felt like everything in my life was falling apart and I couldn't see a way forward. One day, feeling particularly down, I decided to take a walk in the park near my house. As I was walking, feeling sorry for myself, 
I noticed a feather floating down from the sky. It landed right at my feet. Now I'd heard that finding a feather could be a sign from angels or spirit guides, but I'd always been a bit skeptical about that kind of thing. But in that moment, something shifted. Maybe it was desperation, or maybe it was just being open to something, anything that could give me hope. But I chose to see that feather as a sign, a sign that I wasn't alone, that something out there was looking out for me. From that day on, I started to pay more attention. And you know what? I started noticing more and more little signs and coincidences. Books would fall open to just the page I needed to read. I'd overhear conversations that seemed to speak directly to my situation. I'd have vivid dreams that gave me guidance and comfort. At first, I thought maybe I was just seeing what I wanted to see. But as time went on, and as these experiences kept piling up, I couldn't deny that something was happening. I started to feel supported in a way I never had before. I felt guided. And here's the amazing part. As I opened up to this guidance, as I started to trust it, my life began to change. New opportunities started to show up. I met people who helped me in ways I could never have imagined. And slowly but surely, I found my way to a new job, a new relationship, and a whole new outlook on life. Looking back, I can see that what felt like everything falling apart was actually everything falling into place. Those celestial watchers were guiding me towards a path that was so much better than anything I could have planned for myself. Now, I'm not saying that everything is perfect all the time. Life still has its ups and downs. But knowing that I have this divine support, this cosmic team cheering me on, makes all the difference. It gives me the strength to face challenges, the courage to take risks, and the faith to trust in the journey. So, let's bring it all together. We've talked about these celestial watchers, these divine detectives that are always keeping an eye on you. We've explored why they're watching, what they see when they look at you, and how you can spot the signs of their presence in your life. We've discussed how you can respond to this divine attention, not through any complicated rituals, but through simple acts of gratitude, mindfulness, and action. And we've talked about the incredible shift that can happen in your life when you really embrace this idea of divine guidance. But here's the most important thing I want you to take away from all this. You are never alone. No matter how tough things get, no matter how lost or confused you might feel, there are unseen forces cheering you on, guiding you, and supporting you every step of the way. These watchers see the real you, the powerful, incredible, light-filled being that you truly are. They see your potential, your gifts, your unique purpose. And they're always working to help you see it too, to help you step into your power and shine your light in the world. So I encourage you to stay open, to pay attention to those little signs and synchronicities in your life. Trust your intuition, follow those nudges, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Because when you do, when you start to dance with this divine guidance, magic happens. Remember, you're not just a random person going about your day. You're a cosmic being on an incredible journey. You have a team of celestial watchers supporting you, guiding you, and cheering you on. And they all have the same message for you. You are more powerful, more incredible, and more loved than you could ever imagine. So go out there and shine your light. Trust in your journey. 
and know that no matter what happens, you've got a whole universe of support behind you. You've got this, and your watchers know it too. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of divine guidance and celestial watchers. I hope it's opened your eyes to the magic and support that's all around you. Remember, the next time you feel that subtle nudge, that unexplainable coincidence, or that sudden flash of inspiration, that might just be your watchers saying hello. So say hello back and get ready for an amazing journey.